Okay, welcome all. Uh, hi, the greetings from Tampere, Finland, and my colleague is from Helsinki, Finland, Nelly. Hi, Nelly, how are you? Great, great. So we have Nelly and myself, Heram Kulkarni, on behalf of Council for Creative Education. We would like to welcome you all for this amazing webinar on Finland education tour, or what we call as a Finland education experience. Uh, Council for Creative Education, as an organization, we are operational since last more than 12 odd years. And uh, we have been working in the research of education and creative pedagogy since 2007, for last more than 15 odd years. And through that experience, we have uh, gathered our expertise into the how to create the experience of the Finnish schools, where we travel across various schools of Finland and we take our visitors who are coming from more than 35 countries across the globe and we serve them to really get the secrets behind the Finnish education. I can really see that many of the educators who were a part of our previous tours are in this call, so I welcome them. So great to see you all, those who have already been through this experience, and I welcome to the new visitors and to new educators, researchers, teachers, uh, who would like to join the future education tours. So let's start, and uh, today, before we go ahead, let's go through the experience of how we have been doing till now about the Finnish educational experience. So for that, I will just take you through an interesting part and then we'll take it forward. Three, two, one, from. <laughs> one of the method of our formative SSO so that we don't need to I'm gonna do it in corporate meetings man. so for you yeah. can we and how do we collect that's why we put the uh, for visitors this way and also like Also good to the ball. Oh wow! So children can put this to the ball, and especially a little bit older children. Yes. So when you pass, I'm like.
Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Actually, this is the gist of uh, six days tour of uh, Finland school experience, uh, which was happening in the month of, uh, in, in year 2019 and 2020. We have been operating since 2013, these tours. And this is our, uh, due to pandemic, we couldn't do it for last two and a half years. Our last tour was on the first week of March 2020, just before the pandemic. And earlier than that, we have been hosting yearly more than 30 odd groups, which covers around 500 odd visitors every year. Uh, and that was a fantastic time. And our idea was to learn through these experiences because in one group, we have the teachers, educators, researchers, principals, from 10 odd countries from covering across three continents. We were getting the educators from Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Vietnam, Thailand, India, from Middle East, from African countries, as well as from USA and Latin American countries. So that was a great learning experience for, for all of us. And we here in Finland, we welcome all the teachers and educators across the globe to experience this again after the pandemic is now over, Finland is back to normal and uh, we are ready to welcome you. So Nelly, uh, we are in a plan to now host the new teachers and educators across it. How are you feeling? How is the weather right now here in, uh, I think you are traveling right now here in Finland, but how is the weather? Is it a welcoming weather or is it a cold? Is it, a, it? It's a really welcoming weather. The Finnish summer, it's it's the best. There is a lot of light and it's also quite warm. So uh, even though you might be afraid of cold, the summertime it's really nice in here. Yeah. And 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 okay. At the same time, our our visits are starting now. Uh, they will start uh, from the August and September, October. Even if you go to towards November, you will find some cold thing. But I think once you are in Finland, uh, you will enjoy the cold. And for that, we have arranged one specific experience for all of you in the education tours. So those who are interested, we have something which is a very Finnish year concept called Avanto, or which is called as an ice hole swimming. So uh, through our education tours, we also take the people across some of the very Finnish experiences through some nature walks, through some forest trails, so that you can really enjoy. Because Finnish school system cannot be separated from the nature, from the society around that part. So we have, we will also experience some of the forest schools also. So we have forest pedagogy and forest schools. And one of the experience for that is that we have the pedagogy for outdoor learning. So outdoor pedagogy is also there, active learning methods. And Nelly specialized exactly in the same area of team teaching and active learning methods. So during this process, Nelly will take you across various experiences. And today we are going to discuss exactly about the same that what exactly is a part of the Finland education experience mean. So uh, Nelly, let's let's start with a quick introduction. So Nelly is a teacher, was a teacher from, a, uh, uh, from ESPO. She, she is originally from Helsinki, and she has been a teacher in uh, one of the well-known schools called Yuan Puisto School in, in Espo area in southern part of Finland. And she has been teaching uh, the school from grade one to six, which is a primary grades. And she is a class teacher. And uh, uh, for last many years, we are working together. And now Nelly is working for CC Finland full-time, uh, working across teacher training programs, creating the coursework, and she's developing the schools across different parts of India as well. We just were traveling in India in the month of June. It was a great experience. So Nelly, how are you? How is life otherwise? <laughs> I'm great, thank you. It's so nice to be here, and I, I'm happy to see so many faces here also in this webinar, and I hope to see you in Finland. I'm so glad I, I can uh, speak to you about the Finnish education and I would like to open the doors of the Finnish schools also for you to see uh, and to compare the systems and to learn together also from, from each other. So it's really nice to be here. Yes, yes, yes. 
and uh, and a quick words about me my name is heram kulkarni uh, i'm i'm based here in city called tampere which is uh, second so called second largest city of tam of finland uh, it's a nice small but amazing city which i'm really proud of and uh, 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 my main area of work is in education technology as well as strategy and for cc finland i am working as a director uh, along with my uh, other colleagues and my background is uh, mainly from the technology sector and then designing into the various pedagogical solutions for education technology so this is the uh, quick one and today we will go through our finland education tour program uh, we are really uh, fortunate that this webinar got a tremendous response we are having a lot of people who are uh, here educators coming from uh, multiple countries i can see that at least the youtube analytics and facebook analytics shows that we have educators from more than 20 countries live right now and uh, also this particular webinar has been telecasted live across facebook uh, across uh, youtube across twitter and linkedin uh, as well as on our cc finland website so there is a good response for this so so that everybody should get benefit because of this webinar so we will go through the entire finland education experience what exactly it means how long does it take what exactly you can expect when you visit finland and uh, what are the fun things as well as what are the serious things what we'll do because finland is a happiest country you might be knowing but it's not that happy means we are smiling all the time but that's means we are doing something serious fun so we will try to see what exactly that serious fun means so let's take it forward and uh, to make the uh, plan possible i request every one of you to visit our website and uh, in the website uh, it will be easier for us so that we will take you through the entire part our all the information on the website is factual and it will be easier for you to navigate uh, and uh, these are the training program for the international educators as well as the school visit tours so you can see if you go to ccfinland.org this is our website and under that you will find finland education tour as one of the top tab here and under that you can see the various tours which are been planned here for this year as well as for the next year uh, on the top of the part you see the uh, some testimonials videos of the educators who have already visited our program and you see some of the examples of the tours but the key crux is here what exactly we do in these tours first of all uh, the tours are for for one week so we welcome all the educators uh, here on sunday sunday evening uh, they check in and they will be here till friday afternoon or evening and uh, they will have an entire plan of week which is from monday to friday about the school visits workshops training programs uh, interaction with the teachers understanding the secrets behind finnish educational success uh, we go through some practical examples of how the teaching takes place in the classroom uh, those teachers who come here for shadow teaching programs they come here for long term the tour for them goes for 3 to 4 weeks and they can extend their tour to the existing tour so for shadow teaching but that's a separate plan that we will share with you uh, we will discuss about the hands on experience of the various creative methods uh, including the phenomenon based learning inquiry based projects uh, how the ict tools are being used creatively in the classrooms uh, we have a separate tour for the education technology or ict in education uh, this tour mainly concentrate on the various ict innovations happening in the field of education here in finland as well as how you can be able to work with the various themes uh, in the classroom we have a, one separate tour on the pedagogical leadership which is mainly concentrating on the educational leadership and how the principles works uh, in finland so you'll be able to get to know that uh, my colleague kari lohiwari uh, he is a very experienced principal from finland and he has seen the uh, uh history of finnish education since since 1970s here actually from where the 
history of Finnish education reforms have started. So all these things, you will have a lot of experience, uh, experience experts, uh, teachers who will be helping you to understand. So uh, as well as you will get the interactions with one of this kind of a, uh, uh, teachers and educators who have been working in the development of Finnish education uh, since uh, last uh, couple of decades. Uh, so uh, this is the one area you will see the, uh, see the overall various part. And now I will go through the actual tour program. This is a sample program, which you will find it on our website. Uh, and this will let you know about what exactly it means by being in a Finnish uh, experience. So normally if we welcome you on Sunday evening, uh, we take you across two major cities of Finland uh, or three cities as well. Uh, first through the Helsinki and second is Tampere along with third city of Espoo or Vanta. Uh, uh, which are the kind of a Helsinki metropolitan area. And uh, uh, the reason because uh, many of the tours, when we spread it across multiple cities, you also get to know that the real concept of equity in education here in Finland. So even if you are not in a metropolitan area, it doesn't make any difference uh, because the quality of education across Finland is same. So the school quality and everything is doesn't depend whether you are in the metro area or you are in the rich area or, or in the poor area. There is no concept like this. So uh, we also try to see the every school has its own pedagogy. So we try to explore that pedagogy and through that part, you can be able to go through the learning experience uh, for that. So. On day one, when we start, we have an ice breaking session because we have the educators coming from different parts of the uh, uh, world. And so uh, in, in every education tour, uh, you also not only get benefited because of the Finnish experience, but also you get to know and interact with many other teachers across the globe. So that it's a kind of a combination interactive learning for us as well as for everyone so that you can be able to really share your experience with them and you will get to know at least education models from uh, three, four other countries. So it's an add-on benefit. Uh, we have a workshop at the opening for understanding the basics of Finnish education where we go in depth about the history of Finnish education and as well as how the curriculum reforms have been doing uh, in Finland, what are the key activities and how the structure of the Finnish education is being placed. And then in the, in the afternoon, we go through the vocational school visit. Uh, so in Finland, we have the, uh, the education model, which is going across uh, that after your basic comprehensive school, which is a primary education, uh, which is a mandatory for all. Uh, you can choose between two of the options, whether it's a high school education, which is more of an academic or a vocational education, which is more of a hands-on vocational skills. And both are highly respected. Vocational skills in Finland are highly respected. So we first go through this vocational school because that gives the emphasis on the skill framework and skill cur curriculum, why it is being done also at the school level, at the primary school level. And then on the second day, this is about the vocational school. Then second day, we visit a comprehensive pre-primary school or the daycare, what we call as a paiva koti or a daycare home here kindergarten. And uh, it's an amazing experience where you see what kind of investments the Finland government is doing in the early childhood education. In fact, the Finnish early childhood education curriculum was the, one of its own kind when it started, where the curriculum was been drafted at a such an age and where it has been implemented across Finland, irrespective of background or irrespective of the socio-economic background you come from, you get high quality care. So this is was one, is, is one. And then in the afternoon, we go through the secrets behind the early child education and care model of Finland and as well as what are the various support systems which have been given to the families. Then on Wednesday, uh, day three or day four of our uh, uh, tour, we go to the 
primary and lower secondary school or what we call as a upper primary school here which is for grade 1 to 9 and uh, where we go to the actual classrooms uh, of to see and experience the classroom for that we have nelly here so nelly uh, now i would like you to discuss about uh, because you have been now teaching for a long time and you are hosting the groups, uh, the teachers from across the globe. So uh, how was your experience when you hosted the teachers from other parts of the world? Uh, was there any peculiar questions which have been asked by them, how they were curious and what they ask or what they look for in your classroom? Yes. So thank you, Hiram. Uh, so I've been also uh, part of these uh, school visits also before, uh, but from the teacher's perspective. So Hiram has been in my classroom with the groups before, uh, observing my teaching and also my students and the learning environment. And um, it's been really interesting because when, as a teacher, when you focus on the teaching and their everyday life, there are so many things that you don't even realize that somebody else would be interested in seeing or hearing. So um, usually the people that came to my classroom were interested in seeing, of course, the in infrastructure of the classroom. Uh, how are the classrooms? What kind of furniture we have? How I've divided the students into different kinds of groups? Um, the calendar on the wall, what kind of lessons we have, how as a teacher I have planned my day, uh, when do we have breaks, what happens during the breaks, uh, what kind of learning environment do we have also outside the classroom. Uh, and then also I, I understood that uh, just to see how I interact with the students and what kind of instructions do I give to the students and why the students behave the way they behave. Um, that has been interesting to see. So these kind of things, I would say. Yes, exactly. So, uh, so actually, uh, for example, uh, whenever, whenever you get the visitors to your class, uh, how is the reaction of the students in your classroom actually are they are they uh, do they find that okay some alien is coming to your class um, <laughs> what exactly is there or, Usually, or, or in fact in yeah. fact my question is when we go out of the classroom what is the reaction <laughs> usually the students are really enthusiastic to see uh, visitors um, they want to know how old the visitors are um, where do they come from they want to hear the visitors speak uh, in foreign languages and they want to also show their skills of English and foreign languages. So usually the feedback from the students has been super positive and they, they really like to see uh, different kinds of people also inside our, our school. So it's been really nice. And also we have used some examples of the foreign uh, visitors when we have been studying uh, different countries. We have been looking, okay, we know this visitor came from China. So then we look from the map um, where China is. So it's also, it has been a, tool for me to uh, use with the children afterwards yes, yes excellent excellent actually and actually i can definitely vouch for that because um, uh, in let's say example for the yuan puisto school actually uh, which was one of the our uh, kind of uh, school where we have been multiple times uh, the tour has been organized the school visit has been organized by the students themselves so the students uh, from the grade seven, eight, nine, they yeah. host the, uh, uh, the educators and uh, visitors, and they take them through across the different classrooms. They take them through various laboratories, uh, home economics uh, area, uh, art, crafts, music, uh, activity rooms, STEM, STEAM library, and as well as through various classrooms. And uh, that gives an opportunity for those students to interact with the various cultures and learn about different education models across the globe. So in fact, it's a great learning for them. And uh, our experience is that the educators who come to the Yuan Puisto school, they get amazing experience because they can directly interact and they get an honest 
view about the school system here in Finland. Uh, because actually what, uh, uh, maybe once we see from the educator perspective, the Finnish education is different, but once you see from the student perspective, you really see the real benefits or whatever the gray area or some green area or even some kind of a, uh, uh, kind of a myths get burst once you interact with the students. Yes, and I would like to add, because it's so interesting, uh, when you discuss with the students, uh, you might get a completely another um, an other, uh, completely another kind of answer if you ask the student what they are learning, what they are studying during, during the lesson, for example. The teacher has an objective and a learning goal, but then what the student says might be a completely another thing. And then it's also quite nerve wracking for the teacher to hear uh, what the students answer, because you as a teacher, you hope that they are learning the things that you hope that they are learning. But if they just say that, okay, I'm, I'm learning how to turn the page from my mathematics books, then I know that the goal is not there. So it's also uh, for the visitors, it's really nice to interact with the students to really see and to understand how and what the students um, in the Finnish school, they are learning. Very true, very true. And I, uh, yeah, very true. Uh, and actually, to be honest, actually one of the, one of the uh, great, uh, let's say compliment plus experience what we had that last two and a half years, we couldn't host any of the groups from outside. Uh, so uh, I got a call during the month of uh, April and May uh, uh, from some of the teachers and one of the teachers said to me that okay that now the school visits will start again and I will start learning again from you and that means because the educators coming from outside and the teachers uh, because they get a perspective about their classroom from a third eye and they can be able to get a review about their work and they get positively impressed because of that so that is the really one thing that they are looking forward to welcome you all. Yeah. So uh, shall we go through some of the experience uh, so that we can uh, tell more about what exactly it means by that, and and then and then uh, uh, we can we can go and understand how the um, how the classrooms are being also uh, organized. One second, I will I will just uh, stop sharing for this one second, and I will start sharing again because I couldn't see this, yes, okay. So uh, we will go through that. Uh, also, we'll go through some of the experiences from the classroom as well, just in a few minutes, but let's go through this itinerary again. Uh, so we will go through the some uh, primary school uh, as well as then in the afternoon, always in the afternoon, we sit down and reflect on our school visit. And that is the most effective way of answering questions to the educators who are coming from uh, different parts of the world. The reason because uh, there are few things which are difficult to understand when you directly visit the classroom. Uh, uh, for example, uh, we don't go for the standardized examinations till grade 12. But then how do the maintenance of the like, how do we maintain the quality of education still? What is the assessment type? What are different assessment methods? Uh, which you cannot really see in a short week of one week, actually. You can just get an experience. But then once you start on this interact with the teachers and educators, you get a real answer for that and you get new ideas for that. So we have a dedicated workshop on the Finnish education in practice, which covers about the activating classrooms, learning through the various collaborative methods in the classrooms and assessment in Finnish classroom. Then on the next day, we concentrate on the leadership, mainly for, this is for the principals uh, and the leaders. And the, here we don't even say that the only principals or the vice principals are the leaders, but every teacher in the classroom is a leader and how to make a pedagogical leader out of that leader. So uh, we discuss on that, how the Finnish teachers are being developed as a pedagogical leader. Uh, what is the role of a principal, how uh, shared ways of teaching and learning happens and how the shared way of leadership also gets developed. And on the last day, uh, we also work on the various uh, uh, creative school environments. We go through the various architect 
architectures and learning spaces of the school there is also possibility that you visit a, a forest school where the schools is been conducted all time in the forest mainly for the pre primary and grade 1 and 2 uh, as well as for higher grades uh, uh, how they use the various uh, teaching aids from the nature and so those kind of learning environments also we see and then towards the end we uh, have the workshop on what we can learn from the finnish education and how you can be able to give back to finnish education and this is the last leg of the workshop is also interesting because and this is the important part that in last 10 odd years we have been hosting the educators uh, we always ask the educators that after going back Uh, did you do something about our visit or did you learn something and did you implement and to our surprise and as well as we are connected with many educators we get an amazing examples about those uh, with us for example uh, we had uh, the educators from australia and they started celebrating finnish fridays over there so this finnish fridays they have started because they were they were learning from finnish uh, education tours of cc finland but once they go back they started discussing with their fellow teachers that what they learn and for first six weeks they shared on every friday one topic what they learn from the finland and then on every friday they used to come up with a new classroom timetable so they changed the timetable for fridays only and they started implementing finish classroom breaks like we have 45 minutes classroom and then 15 minutes break again 45 minute classroom then half an hour break then 45 so those kind of thing they couldn't do it immediately so they said that okay only fridays we will change the classroom to this method and they started working and that particular article they published in australian media and as well as in the education journals and it got acclaimed very well it was very much appreciated same thing uh, one of the teacher uh, saw the finish school libraries and she said that yes we would like to do it and we are really proud that one of the school from bangalore silicon city where we are working they really changed their entire library to a new learning space so instead of using library just for storing the books they changed as a reading culture and learning space and activity learning space for that uh, uh, one of the teacher uh, from uh, saudi arabia uh, she has been uh, here and uh, the, every every country has its own culture and as well as their own challenges to handle so uh, what she learned that how the finnish uh, kids um, have the managing self self management including time management arranging your own desk um, cleaning your own things and making arrangement for your next day of the school everything she got impressed and she started using these methods in her own classroom and she created a model of self care management in their school based on her experience so we see that there are multiple models or multiple examples once you come through this education tours people get motivated and they start implementing their own new methods and they contribute back to this tour actually so uh, we are really fortunate that all these educators uh, uh, they interact with us and they start telling their stories to us and this is a real success of this education tour so let's let's go through some some of the interesting uh, so this last workshop which happens on friday where we uh, ask them that what is your plan after going back to your country so let's see how uh, now now with the new changes in the uh, school systems and everything you really see that uh, how we uh, can really implement uh, the schools uh, practices in the new normal uh so these are the some of the examples or the kind of you can see the reflections from the school mainly in the vocational schools you can see a lot of amazing active learning methods as well as in the teacher education this is a kind of a, a examples from the teacher education where you can see the various creative methods done by the teachers uh, designed by the teachers and uh, 
as well as uh, for example uh, mainly i'm sure that you will now create one workshop mainly on the teacher education and your experience as a teacher where you can be able to really share your experience sounds good yes exactly and at the same time also you can see that you can go through the uh, some of the some of the creative learning environments where learning environment is not only about the infrastructure but it is also about the various using the existing infrastructure in a creative way so this is an example of the uh, forest school where you can really enjoy the forest as a learning environment uh, where you not only just uh, use the learning outdoor learning but also use the various teaching methods uh, in the forest including the using the uh, wood leaves various plants and learning through the nature so as well as you see the various uh, different parts so you see the entire developmental milestones from early childhood education to the higher education in this tour and then you reflect through your own experiences uh, over that you see various classroom interactions learning transactions i think the watching the uh, early childhood education center or paiva kotis day cares is a really treat for the educators and uh, the more important part in the afternoon workshops how you uh, develop the philosophy behind the teacher education that gets developed for example these are the various teaching methods for mathematics as well as science and uh, using the various collaborative learning methods in the classrooms they are been highly appreciated in this entire process and uh, we have developed cc finland we are working with various uh, uh, various teachers across the globe and the teachers have created a uh, new ways of teaching uh, in the in the classroom so uh, as 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 uh, as this workshop goes we really uh, uh, work with the Uh, teachers uh, so that they share their new ideas and they conduct the workshop uh, for us and as well as our expert teachers also collaborate with them to design new methods like for example these are the workshops which are been or the let's say outcomes of the teachers who are participated in the workshop i think the, the the most important aspect of this tour is a fun so we interact with each other and have fun so we see some laboratories including this is like kind of a textile laboratory uh, where the kids use the textile skills weaving skills and this is just a glimpse like for example cc finland we have been working so for example uh, i think nelly this is your classroom now this is your class <laughs> yes um, that's the hallway outside my classroom i'm there on the right side of the picture yes, yes. so we used to use a lot of this area um, outside the classrooms like this hallway area um, to activate the students during the lessons to have different kinds of exercise snacks we call them uh, during the lessons so it's really nice to show also these areas not only the classrooms but the school areas in general yes excellent excellent and actually and actually so uh, by interacting with uh, various educators you can also reflect uh, on their own ideas and innovations how they can do it in the classroom so we are really fortunate that we get the educators uh, from uh, more than 35 countries in this workshops and training programs and now and now we are looking forward to get you back into the these visits
Okay, I think I think there are like, for example, we can go through these videos for n number of years actually, so because these are from last ten odd years. And the I think one of the most interesting part is a home economics laboratories or home economics classes of Finland because they are really unique as well as the woodwork and the various uh, new methods of teaching in the classroom, including mathematics teaching and STEM teaching. So as well as we have workshops on the STEM teaching where we, uh, where my colleague uh, Christoph, uh, he works with the teachers to design uh, new STEM methods, STEM methods, and where we work with the teachers to design uh, some robots out of that. So it is also interesting. So if you are interested in specifically STEM related activities, uh, I really welcome you to STEM, uh, STEM uh, tour. And the STEM tour also is means that we also visit some of the interesting science museums here in Finland. Also, uh, we also interact uh, uh, actively with various ICT companies in the field of education technologies uh, in that tour. So I think these themes are pretty amazing for everyone to experience. And then you can really enjoy the various happy and interactive learning activities. Okay, so this is about our, our education tour altogether, uh, what exactly we go for this. Uh, if you are interested, you can see our web, web page for this and you will find that who are a part of our faculty and team, everyone. Please feel free to fill up this form. Our next tour is starting in the month of uh, September, uh, and then we have tour in August, uh, October, and November, December, and then for the next year we have almost every month we have one or two batches coming up for that. So in a year we also uh, we also practically take around um, twenty odd batches uh, of of education visits, and now. Uh, Let's go through what exactly mean by also that when we conduct the tours, uh, the education tour consists of the uh, consists of the workshops, school visit program. Uh, we also provide the accommodation, including a good uh, four-star, high-quality hotels, Scandic or Radisson or uh, Holiday Inn here in Tampere as well as in Helsinki. Uh, along with the breakfast, lunch, and snacks, coffee break. Uh, we collaborate with our travel partner, Intia Matkat, uh, as, a, as a part of requirement. So all our travel arrangements are done by the professional travel tourist company, and they manage all the, all the travel arrangements, and we concentrate mainly on the educational part of this tour. Uh, this also includes the, all the faculty fees and visits to the schools. Uh, online learning management system access so that whatever you learn during this part, you will have access to the content and presentation uh, for yourself, as well as you can share your learning with others and accommodation. What you need to do is that you need to just manage your airfare, make your air tickets uh, and travel to Finland and just check in at the hotel which we are providing. Uh, so those kind of things you and then dinners you need to take care of dinners otherwise everything else has been covered in this uh, in this tour price. Uh, I hope this covers uh, the most of the information which uh, we would like to share. Uh, uh, I'm sure that there will be some questions. There are some questions. I can see it in the chat and. Uh, we will we will go through the we will go through these questions and we will answer this question. Okay, here is a first question and thanks for these questions. Uh, I'm I'm get, getting the question from. Uh, one second, I need to read through those question. Um, is it is it the question? Yes. Okay. Miguel is asking question. Is uh, CC a public uh, organization and are we looking at the public schools here? Okay. In Finland, uh, almost 99% of the schools are the public schools, barring only one or two schools in Helsinki area, which are kind of a so-called private schools. 
uh, you know, most of the schools are publicly funded schools. Even those the schools which are in private pedagogy, like for example, we have the IB school or we have the schools with the uh, Steiner or the Waldorf pedagogy or Montessori methods, they are also been funded by government and we are going to see only public schools only. Uh, so these are the publicly funded schools and as a part of CC, CC Finland is an organization. Uh, we are official members of Education Finland. Education Finland is a program run by the Ministry of Education under the National Board of Education to promote Finnish education across the globe. So, and CC Finland, we are working in this area for creative pedagogy and various teacher training programs. Uh, this is just information about about the question which was asked. Uh, there is a one question that, uh, is there something for international students going to Finland? And uh, 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 I think the question is about the, uh, about the uh, students, mainly about the students. So uh, this particular webinar is mainly co concentrating on the teachers and educators visit to Finland. We will organize a separate webinars for the students camps and students STEAM and creative ideator camps. We will do that separately, as well as we have a separate webinar for the university admissions. So we will concentrate on that. So I request you to visit. So Urvish from India is asking the question. So if you have any question, please visit our website of study in Finland, and you will get a lot of information about the university admission. And we will come back to you. We'll, we'll get in touch with you about this part. Uh, then I think there is a question is that, uh, I think there is a good lot of comments. Okay, thank you for a great day seminar and everything. So thanks everyone. I think that covers the majority of the questions. Uh, are there any questions on the chat window? Anyone can share my team can just share any questions on the chat window. There is a question about the October batch. Uh, on the website, it was said that the October batch is full. So there is a question about the, do we still stand to chance for that batch? Uh, yeah, unfortunately not because actually uh, as, as the educators comes in, it's a first come first serve basis. And uh, uh, that particular batch is full because we got a, a school of, of teacher, like teachers group from only two schools, they booked all the places for the month of October. So thanks for the question, but you will find there is a batch available in the month of September, just one week in ahead of the October batch. And as well as there is a batch available in November, which is in the first couple of uh, weeks of November. So please join us over there. And if you want only in October, then we need to create a customized batch, but it will be uh, I think we need to have a minimum of a group of 10 teachers to make the batch feasible as well as economically viable. Okay, so Lauri Matthew, thanks for the question. The question is, is school in session during the summer tour? Uh, summer tour means uh, how the, uh, first I will tell you about the calendar of Finnish uh, schools. Uh, schools in Finland starts uh, Exactly today, our school started here in Tampere. Uh, normally starts on the second week of August, around 10th or 11th of August, and they go till December uh, for the first batch or let's say first part. In December, we close around 20th of December and we reopen on the 6th or 7th of January. Uh, 6th January is a holiday. So we open normally on the 7th of January or 8th of January. And then again, we close by end of May or first week of June. So normal time of the vacation is that entire month of June and July and mid August, the schools are closed for summer vacation. There is a one week of holiday in the month of February, what we call as a skiing holiday or winter vacation. Uh, normally it is in second week or third week of February. Uh, in half of the Finland, it is in the of second week of February and in half of the Finland, it is in the third week of February. Uh, so that most of the Finns go for skiing break, uh, provided that there is a good snow and normally in the month of February, we have good snow. Uh, but, uh, and then we have one week of the October break, which is called autumn break. 
and that's normally in the second week or third week of october so that's why there is only one tour in the month of october because there is a almost uh, uh, there is a one week of october ski uh, october autumn break is there so please try to understand that okay because we have to work with this availability of the school visits so that's why uh, we are using more time in the month of september and november and december first week for the school visits so the question is that yes uh, we uh, during summer means right now summer means now the schools will start from today uh, thank you uh, urvesh for this question and okay there is a uh, nijo aman ka is asking question is that if we are unable to travel to finland is there any channel we can use to engage cc to learn and exchange resources yes definitely so uh i think uh, please visit our website and cc finland we have more than 75 different streams of the training programs online courses camps student camps everything and as well as workshops which we are working online as well as in person we also travel to various parts of the world uh, we are traveling to africa we are now are traveling to nigeria now we just were in india and we will keep on traveling to some other parts of the world including eastern part of asia and uh, uh, including japan and uh, south korea and so on but we will get to know because we are just coming out of this pandemic uh, travel restriction ban and now we just started our travel plan so uh, even if you can't travel to finland it's okay uh, we will come there uh, wherever you are there uh, if you can tell me where, which country you belong to that it will help us to share the calendar with you and second thing is that uh, uh, coming to finland is quite safe and enjoyable so you should experience once in your lifetime to come to finland yeah okay you are from south africa so exactly from south africa also there is a uh, yes we do have some plans and actually there are many south african educators uh, who visit uh, finland and we are really fortunate that uh, one of the school from the southern part within kept down uh, some uh, principals and teachers have visited already to finland couple of times here okay the there is a question coming from kuri being gumu wikala you mentioned the steam training are this included in the tour program or is a separate program a uh, steam training uh, or steam tour is a separate tour actually altogether uh, but one of the steam program or workshop about the steam is a part of the existing common comprehensive tour and as well as whenever you will visit the school you will be able to see the some of the steam or stem laboratories as well as you can interact with the teachers educators and researcher who are working in the stem so depending if your primary interest is stem or steam then i will highly recommend you to go to only stem program that would be hard because then you can visit some uh, uh, science yeah, centers as well as laboratories hello hi i think there is some audio okay so was there any question i think yes okay so that was about the questions which was been asked i think uh, uh and by the way we have a course on the uh, uh, stem education finish early childhood education as well as finish uh, primary stem education and early childhood education stem education uh it's an online course it goes for 8 weeks including internship so you please join us for that course as well if you are interested yes i think this covers most of the questions and we are on time uh so uh, to conclude uh, our education tours are starting back uh, after the uh, long break of pandemic uh, finland is welcoming you all and myself nelly and my entire team are welcoming you to join to our next education tours uh, so nelly any closing remarks from your side Hello. Hello, Nelly. Uh, are you there? Uh, 
No, I think I cannot hear you. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, now I can hear you. Yes. Thank you. Everyone. For being here with us today. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you for and everyone. I think there was a bit of audio lag in the end, but I think I think we are uh, I think I think it was a perfect webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time thank and you. thank you for for your active participant. But there is some interesting thing for the last minute. Oh, nice. Uh, the educators and the participants who registered what? for this webinar will get a surprise gift by email to registered email and uh, you will get it within next two days. So hold on. Thank you for giving your uh, communication address and we will get back to you with an interesting surprise gift only because you attended this webinar. And we... And hope to see you in Finland. No? Finland. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I think Nelly, actually, my, my internet was having some, I guess, some problem. Or, or was it was it something? No, I think there is a problem from her end. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, 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 so my audio was clear. I think Nelly, your audio was breaking in between. That's why I couldn't hear you. Okay, so anyway, so with this part, we would like to thank you all and your surprise gift will come to you within the next 48 hours. Thank you very much. And uh, we will come back to you again. And there is a one question, last question, which I will take. Sapna Purandar is asking, would you be open to conduct some webinars for principals in Mumbai? The answer is yes, we do conduct the webinars as well as if you invite us, our teachers and experts will be more than happy to visit to Mumbai, uh, to India. And we are really excited. We always are excited to come to India. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for your attention. And we close the webinar now.